S&D helps us um, create variety, uh, a variety offer for our customer. The number one, hands down, is, you know, regular coffee. They've given us the ability to also offer multiple varieties of flavored coffees, single origin coffees, coupled with some of the um, cappuccinos and lattes and, and various teas. Uh, we, we have a very vast offer. Hi, and welcome to CSP TV's pre-week coverage of the NAC Show. Since the NAC Show is going to be in my backyard of Chicago this year, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, and I'd introduce you to my three C stores. <music> Having written about and reported on convenience stores for more than 11 years now, I, th I think I know a little bit about what's going on, right? So I thought I'd show you the three convenience stores that I visit most often. Why? and why my favorite one isn't the one I usually shop at. Take a look. My first stop is, well, I guess what my professional head tells me is my favorite convenience store in the area. This one was a raise and rebuild from about five or six years ago in Brookfield, Illinois. And uh, not to be too harsh on Chicago convenience stores, but they're not really known for being up to snuff in a lot of ways, uh, particularly in food service. So when this one opened with a subway inside, it was quite a refreshing thing for our neighborhood. So the pluses here are food service, wide aisles, easy to see layout, and the minuses, well, you got a pretty small forecourt here, so it's a little tight if you're coming in to get gasoline. For obvious reasons, on a couple of busy streets, getting in and out can be a little bit tough, but if it's in your neighborhood, it's a great place to stop. And if you need evidence that I don't get out here too often, there's this. Have you ever seen me around here before? No, okay. So if I'm not coming here, you'll probably find me down the street here. This is a 7-Eleven site that's within walking distance of my house and it was converted to 7-Eleven from White Hen back when the Dallas-based company purchased that Chicago-based company. And I'll tell you, there are some long timers in the neighborhood who still refer to it as their White Hen. Because it's in walking distance, I'll come here with my kids. They love to get a Slurpee. They love the fact that it's got a Blockbuster Express here where they can get a video for not too much money out of dad's pocket. And food service wise, it's got 7-Eleven's latest additions from Roller Grill and Package Sandwiches to the seven select line of proprietary snacks. So pluses here, walking distance, pretty good selection, very friendly staff, minuses, no gas pumps. Still, this isn't the convenience store I show up at most often. That is here. I'm about six blocks away from that 7-Eleven store at a Sitco branded Minuteman Man store. This store, no food service to speak of, no fountain, very minimal coffee. So what keeps me coming back here so often? Gas prices. This one's on my way to and from work. It's always at least two cents cheaper than the BP across the street. It gets me where I need to go. So now you know about my three C stores. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow on CSP TV at Naxx.